What's going on guys? John Alder from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to look at separators and size grips for TTK Bootstrap and Kinter. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at separators and size grips. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab a totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book and your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You can get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, like I said, moving right along in our TTK bootstrap series. In this video, we're gonna look at the separator, this line thing here, and the size grip, this little dotted thing in the corner here that allows us to do this. And uh, that's what we're gonna be looking at in this video. Let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK bootstrap series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file, I'm just calling it sep.py, short for separator.py, I guess. And we're importing TTK Bootstrap as TB. I pip installed that long ago in this series. Uh, we're using the superhero theme, and that's pretty much it. So let's come down here and let's create a label real quick. I'm just gonna call it label one. And this is gonna be a tb.label. And it's TB because we imported TTK Bootstrap as TB. And we just wanna put this in root. And let's just have the text say label one, no big deal. Let's give this a boot style of, I don't know, let's say light. And let's label one dot pack this guy. Give it a pad Y of like 40, really push it down the screen. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna copy and make another one. And we'll call this one label two. And this will just say label two. So in between these, we want a separator. So separator. So I'm gonna call this my underscore sep. And it's gonna be a TB dot separator. And we wanna put it in root. And here, the main thing that you can do with this is give it a boot style. And this allows you to change the color of the separator, that line, right? And that's really all a separator is, it's just a line. And so you can use all your regular boot styles, dark, light, primary, secondary, info, success, danger, any other ones I forgot. So I'm just gonna make this danger so it's red and nice and easy to see. Let's go my underscore sep dot pack. And we're gonna play around with this a little bit more because there's a couple of things you can do with this. But for now, let's just save this and run it, make sure this looks okay. Let's head over to our terminal, I'm in my ctkinter.com directory. And let's run python sep.py. And when we do, we get label one, label two, and this tiny little separator. Now, you'll notice it's very small by default. And it's actually a little hard to change the size of this. I'll show you how to do it, but it's not as easy as you might think or hope or expect it to be. So let's first, before we do that, there is one main thing we can change about this. We can change the orient. So by default, it is horizontal. Right? And you don't have to do orient equals horizontal, obviously, we just saw that. By default, it's already horizontal. But if you want it to go up and down, you just change it to vertical. So if we save this and run it, now we have it going up and down, right? So, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to horizontal. Now, the question becomes, how do we change the size of this thing? And when you're using pack, we can change it to fill equals X and X is left to right. If you were doing this vertical up and down, you would change this to Y, right? But we're doing it horizontal. We'll put fill equals X. Now, if you do this, you'll notice we run this, it stretches the entire size of the app, which may be what you want, maybe not. So how do we change the size from not very little or very big, but some other measure? How do we do that? Now, normally with Kinter, you would use a width attribute. So you would come up here and you would just say, you know, width equals, 200 or something, and that'd be good to go. Not so with the separator. With that, we need to use pad X. So pad X gives padding on either side on the X axis, right? So if we gave it a pad X of let's say 10, that would take just a little bit off of each side, right? So if we run this, you can see it just a little bit off the edge. It doesn't go all the way to the end, right? So we would have to play around with this based on whatever you want. So if you gave it say 100, and think of these as pixels, 100 pixels, See, now it's, you know, got 100 on each side. So just play around with that and, uh, you know, get it to the size you want. It's not a great method, but it's sort of what we have, right? So that's the separator, very simple. The only other option is just to change the boot style, right? And uh, so instead of danger, maybe we would say info, right? So if we save this and run it, ooh, ah, now it's sort of light blue, right? So, okay, that's the separator. Now let's look at the size grip. And I don't find this to be all that popular, but, 
you may find some use for it. So we'll look at it real quick. Let's create this guy. I'm going to call this uh, my underscore size grip. Very original. And this is just going to be a TB dot size grip. We want to put it in root. And same thing, you can give this a boot style of whatever you want. So I'm just going to stick with the same color scheme here. So info will make it info colored that light blue. And that's pretty much it. So now if we my underscore size grip dot pack this guy, and just put it on the screen, we could see if this worked. And we see it's right here in the middle of our app, because that's where we packed it, right. But if you grab this, and sort of hold your mouse button down, you can resize it from there. Now, of course, you could also do it from the corner. But back in the day, apps used to have these little grippy things on the corner. And so if you're old enough, you remember that maybe you put the size grip thing in the corner, or if for some weird reason, you need to resize your app from inside of the app like this. And you just want to put your size grip right in the middle of the screen. Eh, that's how you do that. But how can we put this in the corner? Well, we're packing this guy. So we would have to use anchor in the pack statement here. So I would put this in the southeast corner S E. So south is all the way down east is all the way over. Right. <laughs> and then that will sort of get us there. If we save this and run it, it won't quite work. You'll see it, it puts it over here. But that's not, you know, exactly what we want. We want it down in this corner. So what we could do is give this a fill equals both, and then make sure it's expanded. So we could go expand equals true. So that should jam it down in the bottom right corner. If we run this, sure enough, there it is. Now we can do that. And it looks like it should. And we're good to go. So I put two widgets in this video, we usually just do one widget per video. But you know, these are kind of lame widgets, the size grip, you're never going to use that you might, but I've never used it. I've been using Kinter for years and years and years. I've never actually used a size grip. Same thing with a separator, you might use a separator, there's there might be some visual reason for you to put a line in your app. Uh, very easy to use though. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you like be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter widget quick reference guide book. Things awesome over 150 pages has all the Kinter and the TTK widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.